Today we're doing a calculus problem in MATLAB and we want to get the area between y equals x and y equals sin x. Before I go any further, I'd just like to say that I took this example from the MATLAB. So y equals x, y equals sin x, and we want to get that area there. Okay, so that's what we're trying to do. Just blow that up a little bit. Uh, call the symbolic maths toolbox there. Declare function one there. Declare function two there. Pi over two and pi. And yf is going to be the y values for x. So yf values and yg is y equals x. So, be, so that's it. Sorry about that. So yf is sine x and yg is x. So little trick here, we're going to get the x values, so it's xb, so that's pi. We're going to flip it from pi over 2 back to pi, and we have to add the first one again. y is the y of f, remember the y of f is sine x. Flip it back, yg, so we're going to flip uh, y equals x, and then we have to put in the first point again. We call up the figure. The grid. And hold on. We want to keep that figure there because we're going to write over continuously. So we're going to... A little bit there. X and Y we've defined. We're going to fill it there with yellow. In B for blue, line width for 2, so just go back there. So we're going to get a blue boundary. We're going to plot minus 1 to 4 in black and 0, 0 minus black as well, K for black, B-L-A-C-K. So we get those black lines there. The grid, as I mentioned, is there. I annotated the not included in the original MATLAB example, so I have to say at least I did a little bit of work on my own. So you have to look that up yourself. And if we just look at that there, so I got my text arrow, got my text arrow, and I annotated it there with a bit of text. Just to look at that there, you'll have to look it up yourself. So we've gone to a lot of trouble just to draw that figure. Now, but most people would just want the answer. So you want to skip all of that. We're integrating between x and minus sine x, so we're subtracting those two. With respect to x, and the limits are, the lower limit is pi, and we get the answer a, and then I did an f print f there, and the area under the curve is 2.70, and just to explain this here again, with the placeholder, we're printing a float uh, to two decimal. Hope that helps a little and hope I didn't go too quickly. And thanks very much for listening.